to the Zen Garden Tutorial for Teens. This is for grades 6 through 12, and it is actually a program we're having here at the library on Tuesday the 20th at 6 o'clock. You can meet me out at the picnic table and I'll have all the supplies for you. I do ask that you sign up online or give us a call. Um, it's fun, but if you're not able to make it, um, we do have supplies, limited supplies, so that you can make your own Zen Garden. Let me show you what you're going to get. So, for your Zen Garden, you're going to get a bag, and in there, you're going to have a picture frame, and it doesn't matter. And we're going to use it from the back side because it has a slightly deeper uh, space. You have a rustic rake. You have some regular sand. Uh, you have some black sand. You have an assortment of like rocks and um, uh, little greenery and doodads and some white salt. And in my case, I have a little bottle cap. I'm going to uh, do a yin and yang thing on mine. I also want to show you, if you're not really into my, my rustic rakes and you can paint them, you also have uh, to be able to make your patterns a fork and this kind of fancy little spoon just to make different designs. So uh, a Zen garden is, is supposed to be a way to empty uh, your frustrations and to find serenity within yourself. Um, it's a source of our, and strength of our humanity and it's supposed to teach poise, calm, sincere, and making us capable of facing all matters in life. Alright, so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the sand in my thing and you might want to have something down underneath it if you're doing it in the house. Otherwise you might want to do it outside and even wherever you have it, um, you know, sometimes as you're raking it, it's going to end up uh, going over. So I'm just going to kind of pat this out and I'm going to put my little bottle cap in here. Like I said, I want to do a yin and yang thing, which is the the white and the black and actually I am going to I think I'll use the fork right now because I can I can get in it a little more and I'm just gonna try and flatten this out and like I said you do not have to use everything that I've given you in this kit um, the the other sands are options uh, typically you only have like a rock or two not a whole bunch of things in it because then it gets too busy it kind of loses what you're trying to gain so I'm gonna put my black sand in my bottle cap and kind of push it over a little bit because I got thinking about that and we do have some of that so you can you know be able to do that and I'll probably end up having this flipped upside down so I'll have to change it so you know you can just kind of work it and then I'm gonna put my the white is soft so you know just be careful you, you know this stuff is you want to you don't want to have it around everybody else type deal just be careful but it's just going to show you what you can use to make things. So now I kind of have my yin yang thing, and let me see what I got. I gotta, I gotta swirl this a little more. And this will be on display at the front desk for the rest of the month. And I'm not gonna, you do have like a little plant thing. I'm not gonna use that. However, I do have some stones, and I have some little wooden butterflies or flowers, and I'm gonna just use the stones. And I'm just gonna kind of place them. Um, I'm going to group mine just because I think that's what I would like and the whole idea is you can change this up as you go So now I'm just going to kind of rake my uh, my thing and I'm just going to leave it there and And like I said, I'm going to touch up my yin and yang here a little bit more and just a little bit more so that you know about Zen gardens It's the Zen garden is like our lives which we arrange and put in coherent pattern the best we can, raking swirls of the sand around our gritty lives and in the middle of the eternity ocean waves. We continue raking and picking up the leaves, accepting our old natures, satisfied that we like the grains of sand, they contain whole worlds. And my last little thing on your instructions is rake and re-rake patterns and arrange the rocks whenever you want to take a mental break. So this will be available, I will, um, be happy to help anybody outside on Tuesday the 20 what's the day Tuesday the 20th at 6 p.m. we'll be out at the picnic table out in the garden um, please sign up or give a call and I'll happy to have the supplies and we will have the other supplies at the front desk as available so I hope you enjoy the Zen garden and I hope you continue to uh, think about making some of the poetry and entering the poetry contest for the teen advisory that runs through the end of April I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.